Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, Place of Binding of Isaac Adrith. Plus, so far, so good. We're looking for a lot of other items and a few other trinkets. We should really just pick up everything we come across. A Thame. Egg? 2S? Excuse me? Two eggs? Hash browns? Your choice of bacon, ham, and or sausage? Uh, two slices of toast on white whole wheat or rye? Don't mind if I do, it's an ideal breakfast. Bad rate of fire, okay damage, speed's not great, no idea where our HP is. Uh, spacebar item could be a bit of a saving grace for us here. Book of Shadows is great, it enables, uh... Bookworm. Which isn't really that great with really poor rate of fire and no tier synergies, but it's a start, you know, you, it's... You gotta sort of approach it in like a beggars can't be choosers sort of way. So it's not, it, even though our stats, I would call them below average, it's not like it's really a huge issue right now. You know, we're, we're not probably on one HP. I like the sprinkler. And moreover, we have no way to kind of get past it. Even though there's a reroll machine, we got no money. We got no bombs. We're broke five broke. But we'll see. It's not worth taking the sprinkler, is the thing. Like, the sprinkler is actually, it, it's... I don't want to be careful about the way that I describe it, because it's going to sound needlessly pretentious. Because what I was going to say is, it's painfully well designed. Which I think is just <laughs> extremely needlessly flowery language. But it's so well designed, in terms of, like, its balance, that it's oftentimes hard to pick up. Because of the fact that we end up with so many other items that are probably balanced to be more powerful, maybe to a, like an exploitative level. So, you know, Book of Shadows is just so much better than the Sprinkler, unless we get the enablers for the Sprinkler, that it's tough for me to get rid of it right now. It's also tough for me to walk back, because I know that for one sense, I mean, this is not how probability works in this game, but it just feels like there's no way on one cent it's gonna reroll. I know it is an equal chance, I suppose, but one in aggregate is probably not enough. Anyway, all of this is relatively inconsequential. I've got potential, and I'm rushing and rushing around here. It's gonna take us a long time to kill Monstro. It's a good sign that this run, uh, you know, there's work to be done in terms of the quality of our statistics. Coming off a daily, uh, in which I did better than I think I had any right to do, in terms of our rank. Took a lot of dumb damage and still ended up putting a respectable top 100 score down. So I'm feeling good, you know, I've been feeling like a, kind of a golden boy in Isaac lately. Not that I can do no wrong, but that the runs turn out, despite the, the wrongdoing. With one penny. I really doubt this is gonna work, but... I suppose you gotta try. To, to whom much is given, uh, much is tested, right? Well... I'm sorry, Sprinkler. Wow. Leaving the Sprinkler on the first floor. It's not a good Owen Wilson impression. What happened, man? I thought you were zany. You used to be zany. Wow. I don't know what that is. What it is is not a good Owen Wilson impression. It's like an Owen Wilson impression filtered through a, a World War II era radio. Wow, call down an artillery barrage on Hill 43. I'm just, I like, you don't have to give me something good here. I would accept you, even if you didn't. Because when I see your face, there's not a thing that I would change. Because you're giving me a payout just the way you are. But I would really love, it doesn't have to be Bob's Rotten Head, I would prefer it weren't. Just a good card. Like a Hierophant card would have incalculable value right now. Because I, I smell the train wreck. Uh, I mean, even this is okay. I smell the train wreck coming a mile away. This is how a train wreck starts. You get uh, a run that's not particularly good. Doesn't give you any uh, cushioning. You miss your deal with the devil as a result, and then you just find yourself backsliding because you didn't get the deal with the devil. The next floor is even harder, you know? You definitely don't get a deal with the devil on the next floor. 
I'm trying to relax, game, but at the same time, it would mean a lot for me if you hooked me up with, like, some consumables here. Now, admittedly, I meant to turn that into a bomb. I don't really... Oh, never mind. Everything's forgiven. As much as that's luck, a lot of people aren't taking that pill. A lot of people aren't shooting that poop. So I'm taking credit for it. We get Rodden Baby to juice us up as well, and all of a sudden... You know, it's not 10 out of 10, but we're in like the 6 out of 10 camp. And we, we started at about a 2, and I mean that sincerely. And I, I use every point on the scale. But I, I still think we were in like 2 out of 10 territory. So if I could just get you guys roasted. Thank you, thank you. And then pop this and get in there. And really, all I'm trying to do is maximize the fly payouts. We're going to get a deal with the devil. Anything that ups our damage is way better for Rotten Baby and way better for us. Like three more hits, my dad. Eh, probably four more hits. That'll do it. That was pretty easy, actually. Halo's great. We don't need it just yet, because we'd rather take this, and then this, which does come with a speed upgrade as well. Now that we can fly. Oh, dude, this run, it, it got way better. I would say our stats are probably about average now. You know, b between our damage, our speed is way above average, but our, uh, our damage and rate of fire are now acceptable. We can fly. Yeah, this is, I mean, I, it's rare to see a run really go from 0 to 60 like this. Usually it's more of a gradual kind of uptick. This one was like a rocket ship. I think we do want to do that, to be honest with you. Who, who, who? We do want to do. You are the one to do. Who, who, who? Have you ever had a dream? You wanted to do it so. Who, who? Okay, the, the mixing, mixed metaphors, mixing memes. Fighting around the world. You're dead. And, okay, we'll we'll have to go back for this. This could be a good time to pop Ace of Clubs right after we open this. Uh, it's kind of a weird one, because it's actually useful, but we know Judas's Tongue was probably, like, the most overrated trinket in my trinket collection. I really, for a long time, thought this was, like, an A- minus trinket. It's actually, like, a D. So few deals ever get over one uh, heart to begin with. And then, that's just assuming you're going to get the deals all the time anyway. So the trinket very, very rarely ends up being worth anything. I'm sorry to say. That's worth it. Um, uh, I think we'll just leave. We're still not, like... I, I shouldn't say this is a 10 out of 10 run, because in terms of our HP, we're in a pretty bad spot, and we're not going particularly fast, you know, we don't have a good time to kill or anything like that, but we're, we're, we're just a lot better than we were very, very recently. And that's worth something. Don't let it blind you into thinking you're, you're stronger than you are. Well, you have to pop it great situation actually keep picking up the money it's going okay financially we're starting to come out of the doldrums and into the light might be able to purchase something on this floor or even better this might be an ideal run to make our donation machine actually uh, hit 999 just make sure you don't accidentally send it over the the top of the threshold as we did on our other save file and it took us like a year and a half to get it back slowly and again, the whole time, you know, probably I talked for like eight cumulative hours over the course of a couple hundred episodes. Like, it doesn't matter that it's not there as long as it has something in it that we can pilfer from. It's fine, but it did take us a long time to get back, admittedly. I remember that now. There was something so special about that place. There's a secret room there. Seems strikes me as plausible. Well, I'm not. Uh, it will be it for me to suggest that uh, we're gonna do boss rush on this run because I just don't know. We're gonna try. I don't think it's out of the question. I do think it's a little unlikely. 
You know, we're gonna leave this floor probably a little bit behind schedule. The only way I see it happening in all likelihood is if we get, like, a, a deal with the devil we don't expect to get. And then who knows, you know, the world's your oyster at that point. But why am I, it's, it's a fundamental problem in the way that I play this game. And I don't think there's too many fundamental problems left in the way that I play this game. Kicking bombs is probably one. Overuse of orbitals, probably another one. And the, the third one is, I'm not even close to being like, in a survivable state, and I'm already being overly ambitious. I'm like, you know, we need to make sure that we're looking for uh, a chance to get the boss rush. Who cares? Just, just survive. You can worry about boss rush if the if it makes sense later. We did get an eternal heart there. Uh, it sucks that I use the keys because obviously, like, you know, th those keys actually have pretty significant value. Tears up, hey. And a second puberty pill is good. Got to get that out of my uh, head that it's a bad. It's actually a good. I don't think we care about regen. Might actually be one of the few trinkets. Uh, well, there's lots of trinkets that are actually like F tier. Like some of them are just genuinely bad. Judas's is, uh, tongue is just not good. And yeah, I mean, Lost Fly. It's, it's very unlikely to be good. In situations in which it works for you, yeah, you could save maybe 2 HP maximum on a reasonable run. Um, in most situations, it's going to give you no value. I think. But, you know, maybe this is the this is the time, you know, to roll the dice. I am hoping for more keys. Black Rune is super good. If we can find a library or something, it's uh, actually like an 11 out of 10. I think this is our secret room. I think this is our secret room. We got a key to go to the shop anyway. Uh, we shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna do this. And then we're just gonna leave to reset their timers. Bible Tract is okay. But I'm, I'm kind of committed to the Judas experiment here, so let's, let's give it a shot. Um, sure, I'll take PhD. And then I think I'll donate as much as you'll allow me to. I don't care about missing an arcade on the next floor. If I was going to get anything else here, I'd probably get a spirit heart. Good, 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 good. Uh, sure. Now, that's a bad play, except we're never going to take Ace of Clubs or 48-hour um, energy out of this floor because we're rolling Black Rune. So I think we've played okay so far. If there's a merciful god, um, he or she will definitely reward us. with a deal with the devil that we don't really deserve. The time is right for you to prove your benevolency. To prove your benevolence? Look, I, it's a word that's not used that much in the modern era. Mostly because we've got malevolent people. That stinks. We'll take it, though. At this point, I don't know. Speed has become, like, more valuable than damage in my mind. Which is probably extremely false. Or at least extremely bad. And our boss rush just keeps getting uh, further away. The other thing is, like, you might be a proponent of using uh, Black Rune there. And even after I say what I'm about to say, you might say I've considered what you're about to say anyway. So, you know, I'm not saying that you're wrong. But you do have to consider if you haven't already. Let's go. Um, the opportunity cost of using Black Rune on a good item when there's only one I item pedestal on the ground. You know, we might come across a room later. Two items on the ground. Four items on the ground. We got to, uh, you know, make sure you're not looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Got your hat turned side. <laughs> uh, what do you got for me? Ace of hearts. Man, just terrible aces here. Lock up. I love it. Hagalaz. Mushrooms, please. Good mushrooms. Pills. Good pills. Speed up, sure. I mean, we got PhD, so... Speed up's not worth anything, but... Pheromones. Range up, sure. Verp. Um, well, you know, let, let's let Isaac shine a little bit. Obviously, we want to take Black Rune with us. But we should try to Verp a better pill. With Acid Baby and PhD, we should be able to set up, you know, a double improvement in maybe tiers or something like that, which is worth way more than another range upgrade. Let's 
Excuse me, sir. But man, this run has one cardinal sin, and that is that it is slow. We've already been to that secret room. That was an unnecessary use of a bomb. Like, this is a run... Nobody's gonna be saying, oh, this is one of the top ten runs you've ever had. Nobody's gonna be saying, hey, in episode 547, that's a lucky guess if it's correct. Um, you know, you really knocked it out of the park here. It's my expectation, at least. Uh, we're not gonna be able to go to the shop. Just drop an AWAS. We're not trying to teleport out of Boss Rush. We'd be extremely lucky to make it to Boss Rush. Lemon Party wouldn't have been good there anyway, so it, not much of a wasted opportunity. And please don't be Krampus. That, that's exactly what we're looking for. Tears up, verb. Tears up. And now we can go back. That's a bad item. That is an item we just do not like. Mind you, we did get, in theory, some value out of... Uh, out of Judas's tongue. The worst two heart item in the game became one heart. Still just a, you would have to be uh, stupider than I am to take it. That being said, we're cruising on here. I went to all the special rooms there at the very least and you know me, I've got, uh, well first off, you know me, same old G. But you know me, I've got uh, a certain foible in this game. I really like to make boss rush so when given the opportunity, I'm going to endeavor to do that over going to a couple of bonus rooms that might eventually pay out with something useful. I don't know, dude. Can you get more value out of more puberty cards? Like, our rate of fire is now good, but that's not... And it's going to sound like I'm, you know, I got everything I asked for and now I'm complaining about it. But it's not that good because our damage I don't know why I turned into little Nicky but uh, our damage isn't that good we should get it eh. uh, yeah but our, our damage isn't that good so we're, we're shooting faster but our damage is still kind of stinky to be honest I'll give it a try ended up being worth it if, if, if not on time at least on uh, consumables you probably got to think a little bit more about the time constraints, but... We need some tier synergy or something. Another Dagaz. And another speed upgrade that we can't use, but hey, still, that's good. Boss Rush, you might be saying there's no chance. I don't subscribe to the same newsletter as you do. A uh, pessimist quarterly. But if it shows up, I'll be surprised. Explosive He's so excited about the concept of explosive diarrhea. It just makes me wonder, like, dude, I need to get a different hobby. Because I'll talk your ear off about why it's better to use the pre incrementer instead of the post incrementer even though the post incrementer is more readable technically the pre incrementer uses a pass by reference but when i'm saying it i'm not saying it in a voice like explosive diarrhea oh dude okay so now our rate of fire is meaningful and i can stop being uh, not so grump about it uh well, <laughs> i like just like to riff with my colleagues you know we're we're close we talk all the time cuz we're big shots We've got too much time to respond to a freaking email. Oh, mister, I don't respond to media request. This is, there's no story here. I'm actually just, I'm playing the part of uh, a stand. I've been following social media. I understand, uh, you know, a stand is somebody who's a diehard fan, is named after the uh, Eminem song of the same name, but a stand is like a bad thing because, like, in the song, again, I don't know if you've seen the music video or listened to the lyrics at all, but he's not a good dude. Anyway, you get the idea. That should be a mega stand. My key's complete, I'm wondering why I'd fight delirium. No extra points on my daily, and that's just tedious. I don't make the rules, that is all Tyrone. 
and send your letters to his box. Uh, it reminds me. I think we finally got value out of that. We're really happy to have Guppy's head. The damage is something that we're going to need if we're going to uh, have any chance to not just do boss rush, but like, you know, build a, a winnable run here. Because, you know, I'll, I'll talk about boss rush as if it's the holy grail, but it's not just boss rush, you know? If we don't make it to boss rush, we probably can't do hush. If we can't do hush, we're probably not doing Mega Satan, Delirium, you know, any cool stuff like that. So, it's not that I fixate on these, it's that these are markers, you know? The same way... Your low-density lipid cholesterol is a marker for your risk of heart disease later in life. The strength of a run and your ability to make it the boss rush is a is a marker for how much fun you could conceivably have if everything goes right. Plus, I kind of like the hurry up and slow down meta. Acid Baby is pretty good with PhD. Like, I, I think we're getting we're getting what we want out of it. I so forget me now is like, don't hate me for this, but if we had more time, we'd make it work. As is, it's a way for us to get out of boss rush, but it's not good enough. Like, it's just too slow to work, really, is what it comes down to. We're getting pills every room now. And honestly, like, a, a speed upgrade is like the perfect pill for us to get. Because we actually can't accept any more speed anyway, so it's really just a victimless crime. Pheromones is actually literally better, though. Valid point. <laughs> uh, boss Rush still on the table, but it becoming increasingly unlikely. Almost impossible now, I'd say. I know there was a lemon party there. Yeah, okay, like literally impossible now. Unless we get a uh, boss rush. Or not boss rush, uh, Mama Mega, but we've already been to our shop and it was a greed fight, so sure, we, we're just barely gonna miss it. That was true with today's daily as well. A little bit of a bummer, but we're happy to have Perthro with us. I really thought not only that Bob's brain would hit, but that there is like literally no way it could miss. Clearly, I was uh, naive. A little too late on Bob's brain there. We did get a deal. We'll take the Polaroid. It's the shovel. So we shouldn't have taken Perks in there. We should have taken Perthrow in there. I don't know why we were taking Perks in there. I guess I thought maybe it was Krampus. In my, deep in my subconscious, I felt the, the pull of a Krampus fight. Anyway, it runs good. Not great. And I, I want that to be clear. Like, I think you could look at this, uh, if you look at it off paper, which is not the way you normally would look at it, but, well, I guess it is, unless you were looking at this on a Kindle Paperwhite or something, but, um, that was not very smart of me right there. This is not actually that strong. You know, we got more HP than you normally have at this point, but the reason we have more HP is because on an average run, we will have traded away way more HP than this in order to get good deals with the devil. We didn't get good deals with the devil here. Lord knows we tried. Probably won't fight Hush. We just don't... Ooh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, if you'll excuse me a moment. I'm back, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, vignette. It was a wrong delivery. As much as I would have loved to have taken their DoorDash. No such luck. You know what? We're not going to get both key pieces, so let's try a Perthrow to get an item we haven't had. Unfortunately, it re-rolled into an item that uh, is not a guaranteed, like, angel deal, so... Like, it's not an angel deal item, I guess. I was hoping to get something we hadn't seen yet. There's still, I mean, Godhead is, I guess, the big one, but... Um, 
Apart from that... Just stay frosty here. Apologies for the... You know... Oh, jeez. Uh, for the interruption there. Hilariously, like, if you want to follow the curse of why Northern Lion never edits a video, 99% of it is laziness. But then, in the last Humble bundle that had software, there was uh, a, a video editing program called Sony Vegas Edit. I'm, I'm very familiar with Vegas. I don't have it on this PC. But I was like, man, that's like a pretty good value to pick that up for 40 bucks. And all I need to do is splice videos together and then render them. And then if I need to do something like edit out a three-minute pause in the middle of a video, there's nothing to uh, worry about. And then I registered it, and it was like, this serial code has already been used. And I was like, yeah, like by me, right? And it was like, no, by somebody else. By some dang dirty key generator or something like that on the internet. So, uh... To, then it was like, if you want to get in touch with us, contact support. So I went to their website and it was like, you can phone us at these hours between blah blah and blah blah, German time. And I was like, well, okay, I get it now. So it's like a scam. <laughs> I'm not trying to suggest that humble scam. I'm like, the, so your tech support, it, it practices uh, security through obscurity. Which is like, if we're never open, we can never take complaints. I understand. So I gotta, I gotta, I don't know, stay up until 4 a.m. and then call this company in Germany and be like, hey, the serial code doesn't work. Oh. Hey, thank you. I don't know, man. So this is gonna go up unedited, which is hilarious, but also annoying. Pop an allergies to make room for a pill, or another rune for that matter, and it's Degas, which is not that good. And then it's Abel, which is also not that good, but... We got good pace now. Like, our damage is good. Oh. Anti-grav hasn't done us any favors in the in the killing department, but did affect our rate of fire. I do appreciate the luck ups. We're only one deal with the devil away from potentially grabbing uh, the guppy transformation. That's not gonna do it. Um, well, that's actually quite nice. I don't want to hold runes. Like I know we have rune bag. Rune runes tend to be better than pills, but pills are more fun because of. Acid baby, but I can't bring myself to dump an algae's pill on a room that I know I'm not gonna get hit on. It doesn't feel right. It's like sacrilegious. Think of how many times we died from improper pill usage, and now I'm just trying to be like... You know, I'm trying to willy-nilly just throw it away. At this point, we could probably go blind rage. It's like, uh, you know, trying to... Be in a car without your seatbelt on? I know a lot of people say, like... Well, maybe not a lot of people these days, but... Some people, they, they don't wear their seatbelts when they're in a car. And they go, ah, it feels weird. It's constrictive. I don't like it. The truth of the matter is... I mean, first off, get over it. You're an, an adult at this point, probably. And if you're a kid, then what kind of parent is letting you not use your seatbelt? It's extremely bad. Uh, either way... In, like... A month, you get used to it. Now being in a car without a seatbelt on feels like I'm doing something illegal, which I guess literally I am. But I'm like robbing a bank. Just doesn't feel right. Something is is highly, highly wrong. You know what? We got... I know this is a waste of bombs, but I'm tilted. I'm tilted from the improper delivery, as is. It's not their fault, maybe. Ooh, thank you. That's what I was looking for, is a guppy dream, and we didn't get one, but... I believed momentarily. It looked like somebody ordered a bowl of soup and six Coca Colas as well. Hey. Ooh, if that's a black market, I'm going to be a happy man. It is a crawl space with three pennies. It's pretty close to the value of a black market if instead of just not thinking about it, you actually like took a ball peen hammer to the reasoning. But anyway, um, what happened to our other trinket? It's been sucked down there to the other room. Um, should be a relatively quick jaunt to get to our boss fight. Not a whole lot of real estate left on this floor. At which point, we're just going to go to the cathedral and we're going to bounce out of this run. It's been fun, and I mean that. Like, we, we've had to... 
I've had to save a little bit on this one. I prefer a gulp. Yeah, give me a gulp. That's fine. We didn't make it the boss rush. We were a little underpowered for a while, but, uh, you know, it improved eventually. Oops. And now, uh, you know, we're reaping the benefits. But I'm ready to pass it on and get something better. Honestly, the biggest stars of the game, Runebag has been excellent for us. And uh, Acid Baby plus PhD have given us a ton of utility and actually stats as well. So, you know, the, the two fairly non-traditional uh, items that have come to our favor there. And Rodden Baby, of course, dealing damage when we had no other damage to deal in the early game. Booger Tears, not doing negative things. I guess it's been a it's been a group effort, no doubt. Man, like it's okay, but in fact it's better than okay, but it's just not that good. I fought Hush so many times recently. I'm moving out. If that's moving up, then I'm moving up. That's not Billy Joel. That's Jilly Bowl. For legal reasons that you wouldn't understand. I'm a businessman. I mean, we could, I know, use the speed up pill and all that jazz, but just something like this late in the game, having uh, having 5.16 damage feels like a slap in the face, no matter what our rate of fire is. That's a bad habit, I'll admit. It's very snobby of me. I only have above average DPS. Of all the stats, not to cap. Or to put an outrageously high cap on. We're gonna go with range. The one that is already limited by the size of the room. You know what? This is why I'm not a game designer. Because I just don't understand that. Excuse me? Well, that's a little disappointing. A pheromones pill. Also adds very little to the conversation right now. I guess, you know, it's it's one of those situations where it's just so good that it's played itself out. Like, Acid Baby and PhD, at this point, offers us almost nothing that we don't already have. But we it offers us nothing that we don't already have because of the fact that we have Acid Baby and PhD. So, uh, you can Yara a range upgrade, but it's much nicer to just take a Yara with you. Take another year and run down to the chest, baby. Double up on the golden chest, you know you will. Please don't forget it. The shout if it makes you look like a fool. Okay, I should not have gone so deep into that one. Did you know, I'm stealing this from a podcast I've been listening to called 99% Invisible. Um, but, you know, as long as we're talking about songs that I don't remember what year they came out in, but certainly it's before I was born. Um, you know the band, Jefferson Airplane. Later reborn as Jefferson Starship, who sang the song, We built this city on rock and roll. Um, please give me another demon heart. They cut an advertisement for Levi's Jeans. back in like the late 1960s and it is crazy i mean i wish I, you could probably play it without attribution in this day and age you should just look up like jefferson airplane levi's jeans and go oh my god what was advertising like in the 1960s because that's it's just an incredible piece of like the most cynical art of all time <laughs> It, it's the definition of selling out, but also in a way that is like so unsell outy in today's modern terms. Like, you know, of Montreal did that Outback commercial. Let's pretend we don't exist. Let's go to Outback tonight. <laughs> this is just like, hey, uh, Jefferson Airplane, you know, you got that song White Rabbit, that psychedelic, you know, allegory about what an acid trip feels like. Uh, can you just. Just do exactly the same thing, but say Levi's jeans instead over and over. 
And they're like, yes, we will. <laughs> you know, if you can't entertain yourself this late in the game, who are you trying to impress? I don't know, man. I don't know who we're trying to become on this run. I don't know. I don't know who I am, and I don't know where I'm going. All I want to do is finish this one and move on to the next one. Sad bombs. Very happy to see those. But I am very excited to see what other items we could get here and then immediately forget this run happened. Because just we never quite hit the, the click point on this run where everything started to work together. It seems like we were always kind of working against it. Oh, dude, Bob's brain. Sad bombs. Decent effects. Thank you. Save me a couple rooms. You don't really need another gulp pill. Unless you find two trinkets, which is somewhat unlikely. Come on. 3.02 luck. You're not going to hit me with any uh, items. I'm ready. I'm ready for this run to ascend into the Hall of the Pretty Decents. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> GB Bug. Welcome to the Hall of the Pretty Decents. You know what we haven't been using uh, as much as we should have? Black Powder. Uh, black powder on a room like this is like a lemon party and we determine the size of the puddle. It's not determined by the amount of orange soda we drank, whether we stole that delivery order. Drank a bowl of soup and six Cokes. I'm just saying it's a lot of liquid, okay? I'm having a hard time coming up with why... Like, how does an order like that come to pass? A bowl of soup and six Cokes. And this is a genuine thought experiment. First step, there's a lot of people. Well, then it begs the question, why, uh, why one bowl of soup then? I think I've come up with an answer. They were thirsty, water's not gonna do the trick. Clean water comes straight out of the taps, they said, nah, it's not good enough for now. It's fine, I've been there. You get a hankering, sometimes only Coca-Cola can fix it. But, they hit a delivery place that had a delivery fee minimum of like 15 or 20 bucks. So they were like, what should we do? Does anybody want anything? I'll just throw a bowl of soup on there. Jennifer will eat it. She friggin' loves soup. Goes crazy for it. I think I've solved the conundrum. Everybody wanted a Coke. They didn't want to leave for it. They threw on a bowl of soup to get to the minimum delivery charge, or at least to make their order look less weird for why they ordered six Cokes on DoorDash. Take me out of this run. We won. It was okay. <laughs> but for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.